Nice finish. It's all business. Over the depot against the former MVP. Now ready for a couple of free throws. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. Demontis Sabonis. He's got two shots coming for his career, 72%. He connects on the first free throw. Two for two on that trip. Rose into the front court. Down five. Miles Turner. Huge block. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Drummond to Rose. Here comes the screen. Rose to Drummond. In the slam. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. To Turner. Miles Turner slams it down. It's so difficult to block a guy like that with that kind of athleticism and length. Your timing almost has to be perfect but pretty much there's no stopping him when he's around the rim. Rose on the drive, but it won't go down. And that's how you make a difference. Every shot the offense takes, make sure that it has a 10 as far as degree of difficulty. Okay, another one goes down. They're right where they want to be. Exactly. Next play, you have to turn around defensively and get in the stance and actually keep that same kind of tempo. Miles Turner snatching it out of the air. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Miles Turner. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Stepping in for the Detroit Pistons, number nine. Rose. Maker shot off the mark. See, when good shooters catch, they just shoot. When bad shooters catch, they become hesitant, reluctant. That's the first sign of a guy that doesn't have confidence. Knocks it down from mid-range. This comes down to great execution, both on the offensive and defensive end of the floor. Let's see if they can carry this into the second quarter. On oh, the Pacers come away with the steal. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Victor Oladipo at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 80% at the line. Can't convert the free throw. The possession in favor of Detroit. Rose. Surveys the floor. And he buries it. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Now a whistle, and Indiana is going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. his man in the dust and finishes at the rim. The NBA's most improved player was a guy that always invested in himself, both on and off the court, but he always put in the work to be better. It was a sponge for information, an insatiable appetite to be the best. But the difference is, he's believing in himself. Whether that's singing at the NBA award show or performing at the highest level on the court, it's safe to say that Victor Oladipo has officially arrived. It's Indiana basketball. 
Yes, Victor Oladipo. He's now five for six. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Here comes the screen. Shot clock to four for the Pistons. Ah, uh, passed it off. And the reward, a couple of shots at the line. It's still early, so no real impact on that call. But you know that they're gonna call this one tight, so you might wanna keep your hands out of his pocket. First one, count it. Able to convert on both free throws. To Oladipo, lets it fly from long range. That's off the side of the rim, short. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. And they call the foul. Felt the breeze there, Jay. He took a chance. That's the right call. And hits the first free throw. Fails to hit them both. Hits the first, misses the second. Victor Oladipo with the slam. That's how you punctuate a good first quarter. Three more left to go, but you've set the momentum for the second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The drive, right to the basket. Right through the heart of the defense. The layup is good. Deep three at the buzzer. That'll do it for the first quarter. The Pacers have the lead. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Right down Broadway, 4-2. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Here comes the screen, curling inside. Derek Rose, tough shooting. Only two for six after that make. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Full throttle, right to the basket for the deuce. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Piston's ball here. Rose. Can't connect from inside. Short jumper stays out. We call some of these players practice players. You know the guys that make five out of ten shots in practice, but then all of a sudden they're not gamers because then they're making one of ten. That's exactly what you want him to do. You want him to take those kind of shots. Down to one. Got a piece of it. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Rose into the front court. His team down nine. Derek Rose. He's three for seven. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Hold the depot. Maker with the block. Just incredible timing on that swap. Nice pass to get things going. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. 
you essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Oh, the whistle. Shay, take your hands off of me. Timing was just a tad bit off. Took it down the lane, but it's no good. And you see so many players quit on the play after they were beat the first time, but not him. He stayed on his hip, he fought back, and he made the player miss the shot. That's great defense. Right now, the Pistons have the basketball. And he's fouled. He's going to the line for two. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. First one goes down. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Oladipo. To Turner. Oh, Miles Turner. Three for three in this first half. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Miles Turner sends it away. That's his third block this evening. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. And scores. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Pistons have it. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to pull off. Got a piece of it. <clears throat> Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Down to Warren. Fires the three. Ooh, he'll take that. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Jackson with it. His guy's down big. Split the D there, but he can't get it to drop. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Now the Pacers go to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. Coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Oladipo. A bad pass as the Pistons come away with it. Whistled for the foul. Chance coming up at the free throw line. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Tony Snell at the line for two shots. For his career, 80% at the line. First free throw is good. Goes two for two at the line. Coming right back to you. Oladipo to Turner. 4-3. Advantage right, to the D. Miles Turner, no good. To Jackson. From the painted area, won't go down. B 
beyond the arc for three. Misfires. It's no good. It's Detroit's ball. Miles Turner rejects it. Ooh, five now. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Knocks down the first. Goes two for two. Oladipo picked up by Derrick Rose. Runners good there. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Rose into the front court. Down a dozen. Nothing going here on that drive. Rose to Griffin. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. The result, he's going to the line. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. First try, no good. Good bounce back. Hits the second. It's a one of two trip. Andre Drummond pins it. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Now a whistle, and Indiana is going to use a timeout as they'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. Drive to the basket, but the shot won't go. Griffin to Luke Kennard. Right down the lane, but the shot won't go. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. You never want to leave anything to chance when you attack the rim. You finish strong every time you head home. Oh, great pass, setting up the basket. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Rose to Luke Kennard. Malcolm Brogdon uh, tips it. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Jackson. Jackson turns, hops, and finishes. The abuse at the rim for Blake Griffin. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. He throws it down. Mm-hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> the possession in favor of Detroit. 
Free throws coming up. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. Off the mark on the first free throw. Second one's good. Splits the pair. Oladipo to Turner. Stumps it down with authority. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Reggie Jackson rocks the rim. Where did that come from? It's like he got in an elevator and went to floor eight. And, and I have to say something, okay? 6'3", six, 6'5", six 5'11", those aren't small guys. In the big scheme of things, they're pretty tall compared to the average person in public. I feel like you're speaking from experience. Everyday experience, my friend. Every day. Jumper's good. Okay, I saw a little bit of a handle there but let's see if that confidence is still there down the stretch. Try to cash in. Oladipo, not that time. That's it. First half has come to an end with the Pacers in the lead. by EA Sports. The Pacers are in a tight battle after two quarters. Clearly, the number of three-pointers these guys scored in the first half was incredible. And if they can keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down. Have a look at the leading scores for the Indiana Pacers. The Pistons are within striking distance at the half. And without question, they can put themselves in a position to win this game if they continue to rack up the assists. Have a look at the leading scores for the Detroit Pistons. Game track. Blocks. After just two quarters, We've already seen so many blocks from each of these squads. I'm loving how aggressive the players have been on defense. What you're seeing in these highlights will make any defensive-minded coach proud, like Chuck Daly. Player of the half. Oladipo and his court IQ were on display as he delivered the ball, putting his teammates in a position to score the basketball. His timing was impeccable. Who was gold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in that first half. Here are the top plays. Number two. Number one. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. 
Here's a chance from long range. Won't go for Brogdon. Had a hand in his face. Jackson with it. The deficit is six. Miles Turner with a piece. Incredible. Six tonight. Hold the depot into the front court. His guys lead here early stages, third quarter. Now ready with a couple of free throws. Ed, the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. And he connects on the first free throw. And he makes them both. Jackson with it. His club staring up at an eight-point deficit. To Luke Kennard. Miles Turner sends it away. Make that seven. Indiana with the basketball. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball, especially in the draft room. You have to draft players with size and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensively. Malcolm Brogdon trying to cash in on the three-point play. A career 87% from the line. The free throw, good. And they add one more to the lead. It's up to 11. Jackson with it. He'll run the offense. Here comes the screen. Jackson to Luke Kennard from long range. Luke Kennard bothered just enough on that one. a nice finish at the rim. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Oh, lots of contact there. Still gets it to go. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Nothing going here on that drive. To Brogdon. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Not going down here. Andre Drummond swats it. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Piston's ball here. Kennard to Griffin. T.J. Warren able to recover with the block. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Driving right to the basket. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Luke Kennard at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Shooting 75% so far tonight. Free throw is good to finish off the three-point play. And the margin down to eight. I'm on D. I'm on D. I got one. I got one. Has a look. Gets a look. Can't hit. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket. And if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Jackson to Luke Kennard for three. It's good. Something tells me they'll give him that shot again. Great shot by the offense. But the defense, you can't afford to collapse off that penetration. I'd rather a team take a tough two than a wide open three.
Oladipo. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Reggie Jackson. Oh, three for eight. He's got to do better. No doubt about where that one was headed. Off the assist. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than there was defense. Down low for Griffin. Can't connect. To Brogdon. Yes. It drops. Little drama on that one. Ah, the savvy players, they create contact. They throw their arms in it. They even throw their bodies into it. And as soon as you become hesitant defensively, they got you right where they want you. Nothing going here on that drive. Jackson to Griffin. Detroit with four to shoot. Griffin. No good. To Brogdon. Sabonis can't connect. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. From the outside, no good. You see, Ed, this is where coaches get fired. It's great to have good offensive sets, but if you can't execute, then the play was a failure. Right now, the Pistons have the basketball. Jackson. foul and a chance at three coming up huh, he should get some kind of acting award that's a great sell by the offensive player but guess what the ref spit and that's the game new blood coming in for both sides up and good the lead now 14 whistle stops play and we'll get a timeout here for Detroit as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter Time for some new personnel into the game. Knock loose. Pacers come up with it. Victor Oladipo with the slam. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Rose into the front court. His guys down big. Derek Rhodes. With that, he's five for nine. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Add two points to the board. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Miles Turner, huge block. 
been a brick wall. Ten blocks on the night. And strokes it. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he won. To Turner. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. First one, count it. And gets both to drop at the line. To Rose. The drive right to the basket. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. <laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. To Oladipo. Going to launch beyond the arc. They were all over Oladipo. Missed the shot. His scoring has definitely cooled off. But you have to give the defense some credit. They're denying him the ball and really making him work once he catches it. Pushing inside the paint on that one. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Fires the three. That no good off the mark. Rose into the front court. The deficit now up to a dozen. Here comes the screen. Derek Rose picked up by TJ Warren. from the post there you go finally shoot your shot to Turner oh Miles Turner he's now five for six you know from a point guard perspective one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up the harder other players were willing to run to their spots the harder the bigs were running to the rim the harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients and when they caught the ball they knew exactly what to do with it it's good count the basket and the foul and I know there's so much excitement about the play but everybody looks at the player more people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Victor Oladipo trying to cash in on a three-point play, shooting 66% in this contest. Oladipo finishing off the three-point play as the Pacers add to their lead. Rose into the front court, trailing by 15. And he's going to the line to shoot. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. Derrick Rose, a couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 82%. Hits the first free throw. Can't connect on the second, and he splits the pair. Stuffs it down with authority. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer. That ends the third quarter. The Pacers are feeling good.
Pistons basketball here to start the fourth quarter. And they're not totally out of it just yet, but you'd have to say they have lots of work to do to get back in this game. They probably have to put together some kind of 10-0 run to get back in this ball game, but this is when an opportunity has a chance to become magical. I've been part of it, and I've seen it happen so many different times. Just because a team has been dominating you the last couple of quarters doesn't mean that you can't start believing in yourself, that you can do anything you want to do on the court at any given time. You watch once you start to believe, you'll get back in this game. Derek Rose at the line for a chance at a three-point play, shooting 50%, some yes, some no, in this contest. Free throw try, off the mark. That'll get out off one of the Pacers. Rose into the front court, trailing by 14. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. Free throws coming up. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. First one goes down. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. To Oladipo. To the rim. Lays it up and in. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there is a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Reggie Jackson has got two shots coming, shooting 75% so far tonight. Oops, he missed the first one. Second one goes, it's a one of two trip. Sabonis can't connect. Pistons have it. Jackson to Rose. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Derrick Rose trying to cash in on a three-point play. He's shooting 40% in this one. Missed it at the line. To Brogdon. Has a chance. Wow, look at him die for the loose ball. Jackson with it. Down 12. And a whistle. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. First free throw is good. This 
So he hits the first, misses the second. And count the basket inside. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. Here we go. I got him. I'm out of now. Victor Oladipo. Oh, that's how it's done. And it just seems like the defense has lethargic closeouts. You need to close out with more of a sense of urgency. Run them off the three-point line. Make them take a tough two rather than an easy three. Hey, out. Rose's shot off the iron. No good. Nothing going here on that drive. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. DeMontis Sabonis at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Free throw's good as they continue to widen their lead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To Rose. He cruises in for two. Too easy. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Oladipo. Let's it fly from long range. Collected by Drummond. Miles Turner snatching it out of the air. Make that 11. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Ah, the monster stuff. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dumped that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Rose into the front court. Down a bundle. And he's fouled. And he earns her trip to the line. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. But attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls. Derek Rose at the line for two shots. He struggled so far. Misses the first. No good. Missed them both. I don't know what the defender was doing there, but count the points. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Now the Pistons going to use a timeout as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter.
coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. And he's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jay. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. First try at the line, no good. And he's able to hit the second after missing that first one. To Turner. Oladipo. Gets a shot up off the mark. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're gonna lower the chances of them making that shot. To Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson rocks the rim. Where did that come from? It's like he got in an elevator and went to floor eight. And Ed, I have to say something, okay? 6'3", 6 feet, 5'11", six feet, those aren't small guys. In the big scheme of things, they're pretty tall compared to the average person in public. I feel like you're speaking from experience. Everyday experience, my friend. Every day. Screen coming. Driving right to the basket. To the basket goes Jackson, but a shot won't fall. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Pacers control. Oladipo to Turner. Short jumper won't fall. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. The pass set it all up. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in the zone by himself. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. Simply put, can you build a franchise around Blake Griffin right now? No, not right now. I, I think he's starting to get to the latter part of his career. I think he could be a key cog in a championship team, but just not the main guy. Griffin, that is great vision to set it up. And abuses the rim. Big finish for Andre Drummond. Jay, I'm surprised he had a chance to wrap him up. Well, you're not the only one surprised. This guy is not a good free throw shooter. You never let him have an easy bucket. If anything, make him earn it at the charity strike. And he's fouled. Good play by the shooter. You know what? That's an even better play by the defender. I like the foul there. Send a message. Nothing easy. He's going to have to earn it now. Knocks down the first. Second to three, got it. Three for three, nice. Jackson with it. The deficit now up to 13. Griffin to Luke Kennard. Wide open look, won't go. You see, Ed, this is where coaches get fired. It's great to have good offensive sets, but if you can't execute, then the play was a failure. Had a chance, but it's no good. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. Griffin to Drummond. It goes down. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. Oladipo. 
can't go down. Smothering defense. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Slam dunk. Malcolm Brogdon. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle and dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. It's good. This one to the Pacers as they take care of business at home. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. Time for the EA Sports post game wrap up. The Pacers finished with a narrow victory on the scoreboard. In transition is where they really did some damage. As soon as they got a stop, they were on the run and going for the easy basket. Check out the leading scores for the Indiana Pacers. The Pistons finished on the losing end of a close score. While they did put together quite a highlight reel of dunks in this matchup, they did not put together a win. As we all know, style points never show up on the scoreboard. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Detroit Pistons. Game track. Assists. It's a shame only one team can win when you have such great team basketball on display. The ball movement was tremendous. Player of the game. Oladipo seemed to think he could only score points with dunks in this game. Again and again. He kept throwing them down. And it was just astonishing. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in. Of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here's our top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. See y'all next time. Jalen Rose, signing out.